So I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous for today because I'm used to using slides when I do this presentation and I'm not doing slides today because here's here's what's happening in the field. What's happening is people are really longing for connection. We are especially as wellness practitioners, especially today, we're really longing for feeling like even if we're talking to each other across a screen, across a country, across a continent, right? We want to feel like we're having a real connection with whom we're talking with. So I'm doing as little screen sharing as possible today. This entire presentation is usually one slide at a time, and I threw it all to the side. So please be patient with me. I am going to do some screen sharing, giving you, I have some show and tell pieces for you. When we get into like the nitty gritty of how to, we're going to go over a few really important pieces to increase efficiency in your practice. And as we get into those juicy pieces, I'm going to screen share with you. So, but most of it, you're going to have to look at me. I'm sorry ahead of time. So um, here we go. So we're going to spend about 30 minutes sharing the three most important strategies to really increasing front desk efficiency. What we are really good at, and I'll talk about the we in that set sentence in a minute. What we're really good at is giving wellness practitioners options in making efficiency front and center at the desk. Whether you have a team of 10 people or you're a one person show, we're going to show you how to increase efficiency so that you, your team, anybody involved with the admin of your practice can show up and really just do what they're really talented with doing. We're going to automate as much as possible without dropping the personal experience. So that's what we're going to spend about 30 minutes today talking about. And then at the end of today's presentation, we're going to spend about 15 minutes going over how you can hire me and my team. We're going to go over my offer. We're going to go over our current promo. I'm going to share with you how you can get started today running a practice more efficiently and with more joy. Until then, you're going to get a ton of content that you can literally pick up and walk away with. If you have absolutely no intention of working with me, I still want you to get a ton of value out of today's training. Is that fair? All right, cool. That's fair. So um, let me talk for a minute about my team. So here's the irony, right? I, um, I saw staffless practice blowing up about two, two years ago, and it got bigger and bigger and bigger, and it just started with an idea, and I'm going to talk about the story in a minute. Um, and when it started growing to what it is today, um, my coaches said, you got to start hiring people. And I said, I can't. You don't understand. I'm staffless practice. Like, that's my jam. Jody, you got to hire people. You got to get the support that you need. Your clients need more support. So I went on a search for the right people to surround myself getting the right support that I needed. And in walks Dr. Kent and in walks Dr. Shona. Dr. Kent and Dr. Shona, they're right here on the Zoom. They're actually going to share today with you. Um, they were both students of mine and um, we were going through the program together. We were, we were really shape-shifting their practices together and I fell in love with both of them. And I said, listen, I'm not ready to say goodbye to you. I want you to hang out for a while. Would you be interested in coaching on my team. And they both leaned in and they jumped in and it's been magic ever since. So Dr. Shoni, you want to just say, Hey, tell us where you are. Tell us what you do. Yeah. Hi. So, um, I'm in Minneapolis and I'm a chiropractor, been in practice for 24 years and, uh, actually I've been staffless for the last 14 years. Um, and so it was just so lovely, and but I needed help and I needed better systems. And then that's when I uh, started working with Dr. Jody, and it's been really awesome. I'm so happy you're here. Dr. Ken, I'm hitting you up, buddy. Introduce yourself, please. Right on. Hey, everyone. I'm Dr. Kent. I'm a chiropractic chiropractor in San Luis Obispo, Central Coast of California. And I worked with Dr. Jody to open my practice from um, working with other chiropractors, associate with mentors of mine, and seeing a lot of different ways to do things that I liked and didn't like. I knew this is the direction I wanted to go to establish an official practice from the startup. And it's been great. So here I am serving other people and, and cruising through my stuff here and happy to be sharing today as well with some familiar faces and many new faces. So, well, hello everyone I know and welcome everyone who is uh, 
new to our world, at least new to my world. I'm so happy you're here, Kent. All right, let's get into it. You ready? Here we go. So here's the question for you. How many people who are on this call today, and I want to see hands, like raise your hand in the Zoom, raise your hand in the camera. How many of you just wish that you had like two more hours in the week? How many of you feel like there's got to be a way to get out of the office 10 minutes after your last patient leaves? How many of you feel like you go in circles with the admin and the demands of the practice members and that there's got to be a better way of doing things? How many of you feel like if you could just be shown a cookie cutter approach to creating efficiency at the front desk, you could finally do what you know you're capable of doing. Show up, give, give great care to more people in less time and earning more of an income. How many people absolutely positively want to manifest that? Yeah. So here's what happened, okay? Um, I'm going to first tell you that you're in the right place. And I'm going to tell you that I'm going to give you a little bit of a story. Is that okay? We're going to take a few minutes. I'm going to tell you a personal story and I'm going to go personal on you. I, I've been in practice for 23 years. What I do is my passion, putting my hands on people, sending them off into the world, knowing that now they're adjusted, they're going to be clearer. They're going to be more of their full expression on the planet because of what we just did. I know that I'm good at what I do, okay? When I'm working with my hands. I don't have a doubt in my mind. If I feel something, I know what to do. And if I don't know what to do, I know what to do about it, okay? There's no doubt around that. The doubt comes in with the money talk, the phone, the texting, the all of the things. So for so many years, I had this story that I had to have somebody working in my office taking care of all of those pieces for me. There was one uh, day in spring of, I guess it was like 2019. You know, if you, if you want a true dose of humility, ask your teenagers what they think of you, okay? And my buddy Dina says, if your teenagers still like you, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> so we're sitting on the couch, we're having a family discussion, we're just kind of hanging out. And they think it's cute to start counting how many front desk assistants moms had over the years. You guys, they counted 30. My one kid at the time was 12 and my other kid was 15. I had been in practice for six years before I had my first kid. You get it? They didn't even know about the people who came before them. 30 front desk assistants that they could count on their hands. That, that was like a, it was an aha moment. It was a moment of for sure humility. And it was a moment where, because somebody had just quit and this quit, this one quit really hurt because of the way it happened, because of the shock that happened with it. And I was in this place where I know what to do with my hands. I know how to give great care to the people who come to be served by me. I don't know how to do the rest of the stuff. I got to figure it out because I never, ever, the cycle's got to stop. I never want to be in the situation again. So that's what I did. I rolled up my sleeves and I figured out what do I do with the phone? You guys, this was over a course of like maybe six months. What do I do with the phone? What do I do with the appointments? What do I do with the physical space in my office? How do I make it? How do I set the stage so that I don't have to hire anybody to run my practice. How do I make it so that there are no more there are mo no more conversations that I need to listening to listen to while I'm serving care to my practice members and getting distracted by them? How do I do that? And I figured it out. I found the right partners. I found the right people who knew a whole lot more than I knew, and I figured out how to hit the ground running. And I created what's now known as the Staffless Practice Headquarters, which is my practice. You're, you see it here behind me. And what happened was spring of 2020 hit. All of my friends who are in practice watched me go through this process. Most of them just lost their staff to the pandemic, right? And they started calling me and they're like, Jode, what's that thing you do with the phone? Hey, Jody, what's that thing you do with the money when people are in your waiting room talking to you about wanting a discount? Jody, what do you do with scheduling? How do you do how do you do all of the things to just focus on giving great care? Because what it looks like today, you guys, is that 
I show up at my office. Usually I know it's not good, but usually it's about 10 minutes before my first patient walks in. Actually today I walked up the stairs and I still had a sink shower because I came from the gym. This is my life today, right? So I walk in the, into the office with my first practice member. I go into the bathroom. I do my sink shower. I turn everything on in five minutes, ready to rock and roll. My schedule's already up. Everybody's already scheduled. And I start jamming. I jam and I jam and I jam. And now I'm here. My last patient left 20 minutes ago. All my notes are done. Everything's done. And I'm going to show you how I do that today. Okay. So that's my story. So we're going to, I had to figure a few things out. And these are the things that I'm going to give you a bird's eye view on today. I had to figure out how to maximize tools of communication. <laughs> do you guys hear the phone ringing? Listen. That's awesome. How do I, so what, what happens right now in this moment, the phone of my office is ringing right now. I know that when whoever is calling goes to the voicemail that they're about to hear, they're going to be, to be directed to exactly where they need to go. You hear it ringing, right? There's no concern. So I have it on a very low ring. I see that it's ringing, but it doesn't take over the noise in the office. And you'll notice that it's a landline. I use a landline because when I leave the office, I leave the office. I don't walk around with my office phone in my pocket. I, I wouldn't have a life. So I had to figure out what to do with the communication systems. And that's a three-prong approach. That's texting, that's the voicemail, and that's email. And we're going to go over it today. I had to figure out what to do with the physical space in my office to increase efficiency. And I had to figure out how to have very clean and clear boundaries around time, energy, and money. All of those are things that we're about to dive into. It's going to take us about another 25 minutes to go over these pieces. And then at the end, I'm going to talk more about my program and how you can hire us. Okay. So the one thing that I recognized right off the bat is there were three pieces that really needed to be protected in order for all of this to work. It, and the three pieces were, we needed to protect time, we needed to, we needed to protect energy, and we needed to protect money time, energy, money. We're going to go over that concept again and again today. I'm going to keep bringing up, remember you guys, time, energy, money, time, energy, money. So if you're taking notes, what I want you to write down is time, energy, and money. And all of the systems that we're about to, um, hey, Eric, all of the systems that we're about to go over the goal of each one of the systems is, again, to protect time, energy, and money. Okay, is that fair? Everybody get that? So, and it's not only your time, energy, money. It's your practice member's time, energy, money. Because I I'm going to tell you right now, they don't want their time wasted. They don't want their energy wasted, and they certainly don't want their money wasted. Okay, so that's where the efficiency piece comes in. So let's start with communication, Okay. Um, you guys, I'm going to say to Dr. Shona is watching the texting box. So if you have any questions at any point, Dr. Shona will go ahead and drop um, a comment and just show, she'll show that she sees your question. Shona, if you want to just text me, you can literally text me. I'll have my phone right here. Just tell me to stop talking and answer a question. Okay. You can interrupt me as much as you need to. Okay. Let's talk about the voicemail. There was a, um, there was an afternoon, a rainy afternoon when I was figuring all this stuff out and a practice member walks in and I'm changing the voicemail on my recording. And I had it down pat, I had it memorized. And it was, thank you for calling Light Source Chiropractic. We're so glad that you called. Reaching us by text is the best way to get a hold of us. You can do that at da 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 Da. If you're a new practice member looking for your first visit with us, please da 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 da. If you are a regular practice member looking to schedule an or an admin need, da 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 da. And she heard me doing this when she walked in. She's uh, the owner of an insurance agency, so she's got tons of admin needs in her office, right? And um, it was right when I was figuring out the staff of systems that I needed, right? And she walks in, and I'm recording the voicemail message, and she said, Jody you had that memorized? And I'm like, Deb, I've recorded this voicemail so many times I could say it in my sleep. And she said, Jody, you really have something there. You should be sharing that with your colleagues. So he, this was the birth of the voicemail message funnel. And here's what it sounds like. 
if you have a phone for your practice, which all of us do, right? You want to make sure that if you can't get to the phone, whoever is calling, because these are people who are calling in, whoever is calling your office is getting just as much of a service experience, if not more, by listening to your voicemail message than if they were talking to you. What is protected here if they listen to the voicemail message as opposed to talking to you? If they have an admin need, if they want to tell you about Johnny's soccer practice and how he fell down and he got a scratch and he had a latex allergy to the Band-Aid and then he went to the ER, if they want to tell you all about it. What's protected if a voicemail message funnel takes care of those admin needs? Your time, your energy, and your money. You get it? So the voicemail message funnel starts with a study and you're going to do a really simple study. And these are all things that we do with you inside of our program. You do a really simple study of who's currently calling your practice and what they're looking for. Usually in a wellness practice and everybody on this call today are wellness practitioners who want to serve more, earn more and work less. Okay. Some of you are chiropractors. Some of you are PTs. Some of you are OTs. You are in the right place. So all of these people are calling in. You want to figure out what are they looking for and what's the quickest, easiest way to get them what they're looking for with the least words possible to explain it to them on a voicemail message. This isn't a voicemail message that's going to be 10 minutes long or that's going to have them dialing all kinds of buttons. This is a very simple, clean, happy, easy to follow voicemail message funnel. Okay, so the first part of the voicemail message funnel is you do a phone study, you figure out who's calling your office. The second part of the voicemail message funnel is you create a solution for each one of those callers that will protect what? Your time, your energy, and your money. That will protect what? Their time, their energy, their money, okay? And then you make it very clear to them who you are, what you do, and what you don't do. That's the voicemail message funnel. There are three different kinds of voicemail message funnels. There's a one and done, which is what I use in my office. And when Deb was walking in and she heard me do the voicemail message funnel, I was recording what we call a same day voicemail message funnel. And it sounds like, hey, it's Dr. Jody on Friday, July 14th. I'm in the office until noon today. If you're a current practice member looking to get on the table today, come on over. If you're a new patient looking to schedule your first visit, check out our website at lightsourcechiropractic.com. All other callers, you are welcome to leave a message here, but texting me is the best way to get what you're looking for. Please text da 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 That's the same day. The one and done is, this is Light Source Chiropractic. If you're da 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 our office hours are da 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 If you're a this person, a that person, or a this person, go here, go here, or go here. Texting us is the best way to get the help you're looking for. And then I say my texting number twice. Um, the only other kind of voicemail message funnel is an end of day voicemail message funnel. And that sounds something like, hey, it's Dr. Jody on Friday, July 14th. We're at the end of our office hours right now. We'll be back on Monday. If you're a da-da-da-da, da-da-da-da, da-da-da, go here, go here, go here. Cool, you get it? That's the voicemail message funnel. Okay. Um, oh, Jordan, you're such a rock star giving the testimonials on the voicemail message funnel. I really like using a landline, you guys. I don't want this on my, on my cell phone. To be honest with you, at this point, we maybe have one voicemail a week on our phone because every one of my patients knows that texting me is best. It really isn't even an issue anymore. Okay. Um, here's what we hear people say in fret, their fear around this. The most common fear around this, again, goes into protecting time, energy, and money. Okay. The most common fear is they're going to call the next person on the list. The most common fear is I'm going to get a bunch of people who don't know how to text or don't want to text if I run a senior practice. The most common fear is uh, they want a same day appointment, right? So 
I'm very much an advocate of you figuring out what the problem is and finding a solution to it. I'm also very much an advocate of personalizing this experience to work in your office. My systems are not cookie cutter. My systems are not one and done for all. They need to be personalized based on A, your style of practice and what you do, B, who you want to be serving, and see what works best to protect what? Your time, your energy, and your money. You get it? So um, we're going to go into texting next. I just want to see if, do you give your personal cell? Never. My practice members don't have my personal cell ever. So, and we're going to go over that in a minute. That's a great question, Felicia. Thank you. Okay. So I want to share my texting inbox with you, but I can't show you guys my patient list. So I just have to be creative about this. Give me one second to do this. Okay. We're good. So let me just go here. Hold on. Give me one sec, you guys. I'm actually going to show you legit. I'm going into the texting program right now. I'm going to show you my texting inbox for my practice. I'm going to show you how it works by having you text me. I want you to pull your cell phones out. Dr. Shona, if you can drop my texting number in the chat, you guys can go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. This is going to knock your socks off. Okay. You can see my texting inbox, right? Can't you see my texting inbox? Okay. So if you guys send a text to 908, 495-6988. Tell me something sweet. Give me some sugar. Send it my way. Is that the right number? 908. Hold on. No, sorry. I gave you my another number. 908. Repeat, right? 908-224-4840. That's the number that you want to text. 908-224-4840. Four eight four zero. I'm going to say it one more time, and I want you guys to watch what happens to my screen. Okay, nine zero eight two two four four eight four zero. Now watch what happens. I got one high. There's a howdy. Keep going. Send me some love, you guys. There's a hello. 908-224-4840. Give me some sugar. What's up? 908-224-4840. You are great. Keep going. Send me a text, you guys. So what I'm going to tell you about this texting inbox is one, it's HIPAA compliant. Two, it costs my people, and you're one of my people, $99 a month. It costs me and my practice $250 a month. But because you're one of my people, it costs you $99 a month. Uh, the third thing is I'm about to show off all of the things that it does. So with my very busy schedule, here's my to-do list. You see how that can happen? So my to-do list now is what's in the inbox. And I'm going to tell you how you manage this kind of thing. So here's somebody giving me hearts and emojis, right? I'm going to go over to my templates. And these are all of the templates that we create for you. These are all the templates that we show you how to implement inside of this program. And let's go ahead and send them my welcome text. Welcome to Light Source Chiropractic. I'm about to send you an email to get you set up for your telehealth call with Dr. Jody. And let's say, nah, that's not really the one I want to send. Let's go ahead and send the address to our office. Our office is located at 16 Lee Street in downtown Clinton. We're right above Ameriprise. You can park out front or there's a big parking lot behind the building. This isn't something that I'm pulling out of my, you know what, right? This is something that I have spent time and enter time, money, energy protecting to make sure that it's written right. It's written the way that I really, I don't have to go looking for it and copying and pasting it. It's right here in my templates. Let me just give you one more. Let's say someone, I get a lot of calls for, hi, I have a breech baby. I need you to flip my baby because that's what they think I do. It's not what I do. You guys, I adjust them and baby goes into optimal birth position, but this is what they think, right? So I have a thing for breech baby. Hi, I'm going to send you my website to learn about my birth prep class or my birth prep care. Please let me know if you have any questions. And then they go there and the education process begins. That's texting. 
All of my contacts are organized by active practice members, inactive practice members, pregnant practice members, nutrition-based practice members, friends and family. Um, I said inactive practice members, new patients and scheduling process. Those are my categories. And what we show you in staffless practice is how to put templates in, how to do categories, how to discover ways to personalize this experience. Because here's what we see. And you guys get the most important thing I want you to get is this is now my to-do list. This is what I have to take care of. And you will all get a text back saying, I love you today. So I know that that's the to-do list that's waiting for me. Okay. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to go over a couple of details of what I just showed you. Um, thing one, if you have staff, Godspeed, I'm so impressed with you. I think that's awesome. I have one virtual assistant that runs my texting program for me and she puts all of my appointments in Jane. That's the only, and she checks my voicemail once a week. She checks my voicemail once a week. She watches my texting inbox all day. She, you, cause you can reach this texting inbox from any screen. She, she gets my voice. She drinks my Kool-Aid. She totally understands my why in my practice. Otherwise, I don't care if she is the most tech savvy person on the planet. She would not come even close to my practice members. They have to be understanding why you do what you do and what makes you a freaking superhero. If they don't get that and they're representing your practice, there is a disconnect and your patients will feel it and you will feel it too. And it will create a subluxation in the field. In chiropractic, we talk about subluxation. Subluxation is a distortion of tone. It's a distortion of energy. It creates a dissonance in the field. It creates disconnect in a system, right? A subluxation, sub meaning less than light is less light, less lux. The condition of is Asian. A subluxation in the field of your practice can make or break the practice experience. If somebody is talking to your practice members and they don't get why you do what you do. They don't appreciate how much of a freaking superhero you are. There's a disconnect. There's a subluxation in the field. And this would not be the piece to give them, no matter how tech savvy they are. Give them another piece. That's just, It's okay if they're not drinking your Kool-Aid. There are other pieces to give them. Okay. All right. I'm going to just step down from my soapbox. So um, what else do I want to say about this? A lot of people will come to our playground for Staffless Practice Academy and they'll say, I've got patients texting me left and right on my cell phone. You guys, it's not allowed. It's not okay to do it. And you're hearing me say it. So now it's in your brain. Please be careful. Please make sure that your texting program is compliant. Okay. Um, okay. I wanted to ask Dr. Kent, to jump on for a couple of minutes now and share because he, I watched the transition of him implementing a texting program as a student of Staffless Practice Academy. And I watched it rock his world. This is the one thing that our students say, Jody, this changed my life. So Dr. Kent, talk to us. So thank you. What an introduction. And we got some chiropractic philosophy in there too, which is great. Um, texting is sacred. T texting is a big deal. So many businesses are transitioning to it. But I th so we've all had experiences, I think, interacting with a business or a person or some sort of professional thing through texting, which was not a thing, you know, five years ago, not nearly like it is now. But has anyone gone to texting automation or like a, that feels weird? It can either be like incoherent with your personal interaction with that person or something like, I don't feel connected to this person at all. And I just got an automated birthday text and, it, and the same sentence, it's asking me to come in for a promotion that doesn't really mean anything to me. Has anyone experienced like that kind of creepy crawly thing? Right. And there's something that's sacred about our texts because like it or not, we are all trained to check texts right away. 98% of texts get read. 90% of texts are read within 30 minutes. And if you're a millennial, that's within 90 seconds, most people are reading their texts. So there's a part of us that knows that, wow, our energy 
immediately goes to that texting. So if you're texting me, it better be real and personal and relevant. Otherwise, a little part of that person, and I think you guys can relate to that, felt cheated. There's something disingenuous with that. And so with what we do here, it's how can we harness that power of texting to maintain or to preserve our time, energy, and resources while still making it an authentic connection to the people, to our practice members, and to our community, right? And so what that looks like for us is having programs that are compliant and efficient, like Dr. Jody showed us, but also adding that personal touch where it doesn't feel disingenuous or dis incoherent with who we are, and that it's honoring, respecting the time, energy, and resources of the people who are engaging with us so that they can feel us. And for many of us, either who are doing more voicemail in the past or who are just transitioning and building our practice and finding new solutions, that can make a huge difference. Because not only does that make it easier for us, but most people and yourself might be included if you put yourself in the shoes of when you're interacting with other businesses, actually prefer to engage by, via texting versus another phone call or another email. And then another thing is, and there's a lot, so there's a lot of details to it. It doesn't take much to make or break these things. And so having systems in place, like I did, starting with the staff list and continuing to do and working with other people, working with our clients, coaching them, and obviously continuing to improve and tweak and experiment within my own practice is those little things can make a really positive experience for yourself and for the people in your practice. Love so that. whether you haven't integrated texting <clears throat> or you're, you do, but you're not sure how to best use it, or maybe you, you are, don't want to because you've had those creepy experiences and you don't think there's a better way to do it. We got some good stuff that can uh, support yeah, you. We got good stuff <laughs> waiting for you. Thank in you, doing, Dr. Ken. In doing that so again, right. Dr. Ken and Dr. Shona are the two accountability coaches in our 12-week program, which we're going to talk to you about in a little bit. So um, here's my morning. You ready for it? I wake up at six o'clock. My dog has to pee. I grab my phone. I don't have my glasses on. I can kind of see what's coming for the day. I know I have to get out of the door in the next 30 minutes. I still need to drink coffee, go to the bathroom, if you know what I mean, right? My kids knocking on my door saying, mom, I don't have a clean shirt for my first day at work. I have to go. I have to go take the dog for a walk while I'm checking my messages, while I'm putting my shoes on. I, I don't have a bra on yet. Okay. I still haven't peed. I'm walking the dog around the block. I've got all of these things coming at me at once. I get in the car. I spill my coffee all over me. And by the way, my chiropractor just texted me and said, I have an open spot today at 515. Do you want it? I don't have time to call my chiropractor for an appointment. I have time to text her. Do you get it? So here's the thing though. If I saw my chiropractor in the supermarket last night at eight o'clock when I was with my kid buying bananas and she was like, hey, Jody, I haven't seen you in the office in a while. When are you going to come in? And I'm like, hey, I'll be in tomorrow at one. If I get a text message this morning that's automated that says we have an opening at 515, it wouldn't make sense to me. It would feel slimy and cheesy and there would be a disconnect. And in my world, as far as business is concerned, and we do run a business, whether or not you want to appreciate it, respect it, or own it. You are a business owner, right? And how you do anything is how you do everything. So there has to be authenticity with texting. Okay. <laughs> you never know what kind of like, I'm just going to jump up on something, right? Um, by the way, everybody who just texted me, I just texted you back. It took me 30 seconds to do that because all I did is click a template. Okay. Let's go on because I think we we kind of nailed texting down into the ground. Um, so we already talked texting. We already talked voicemail message funnel. The next thing I want to get into is email. Okay. Um, and what, what we do, with, let me just say this. What we do with texting inside of our program is we give you all of the templates. We help you make them personalized. We help you 
um, set up your texting account and what to do with your current phone number. And then the most brilliant part of it is we have this program called Two Birds, One Scone, where we teach you how to announce to your practice, hey, this is the new way of doing things. And how you, you know how like when you're making cookies, and there's cookie batter left in the bowl and you're like scraping every little piece of the cookie batter and then you lick the spoon, right? We're gonna teach you as you're doing that, how to get every little nook and cranny out of that bowl when it comes to announcing your texting program. It's a game changer. Okay, we're gonna go into email. Um, but again, I'm going to make sure that you're not looking at any of my emails. So the thing about email is, <laughs> and just to recap, we're still on three things to shift to make your practice more efficiency. We're talking about communication and we're going into email. As far as email is concerned, you want a few things. You want one-click solutions. You want it to be personalized. If you are emailing patients, it needs to be compliant. Please hear me say that. And you want to be able to access it from any screen. You want your personality to show up. The rule of thumb is you text quick, by the way, comments, and you email content. You email information, more detailed information. So I'm going to whiz through email because most of you know what needs to be implemented in a good email program. Uh, hold on a second. I just have to take out these two emails. Because again, I, this is literally what I'm doing. I'm using this, and I don't want to show you my patient list. So um if I want to compose an email, what I want you to see about this is it's got my personality all over it. It's got one click solutions for my practice members to find me. It's got my HIPAA statement on it and it's got my signature on it. And these are all things that we show you how to do. The other thing that I want to show you is all of my templates are right here. So if I wanted to say to somebody, hey, welcome to, we're filming a TV, a TV show in Dallas. I don't want to recreate the Practice Joy show email over and over again. So there it is. Uh, the whole email is right there. And all I had to do is click a button. Okay. Dr. Jody, so we're, just seeing, we're just seeing your desktop. Oh, we're you guys, come template. on. That was so good too. All right, here. Can you see it now, Kent? Okay, cool. So let me just get out of this. And then what I showed you is I went to compose an email. You see my personality and my brand all over my email. I want to send a template about the Practice Joy Show. I'm going to go ahead down to my template for Practice Joy Show and the whole thing types up. So you're probably going to want to have templates and this is templates again. And again, this email inbox, it's a G, it's a Google workspace. It's HIPAA compliant. We show you how to do every single part of this. Okay. So I'm going to stop share. So um, you're going to want emails for new patients. You're going to want emails for the request of a super bill. You're going to want emails for maybe directions to your office, maybe links to different areas on your site, because texting programs aren't always the best way to share a link. Okay, that's email. I want to move from communication platforms and that being a solution for you to increase efficiency in practice. And I want to move on to, I think we're going to go into the actual practice space now. Nope, we're going to go into protecting your time. So when it comes to running your practice, either without staff or with staff who shows up only to do what they're great at doing, one of the most important things we need to do is protect our time. Protect time, energy, money, okay? Protecting your time is going to look like creating a schedule that works for you, that works for your brain, that works for your pocket, that works for your community, okay? I do best early in the morning. Early in the morning is when I jam. Early in the morning is when I write. It's when I create. It's when I coach. It's when I do all of the things that require brain power because that's when I am on. In the afternoon, I'm light and easy. I have some fun. Those are my adjusting hours because that's the vibe of my practice. It's light and easy and I have some fun. I show up here to have fun. This is the fun part, right? All of the other stuff requires me to put a whole lot of thought into a short little window, and I need to do that in the morning. So there's some study that happens here. And one of the things that we do with you is we study when do you work best? When do you play best? When do you study best? 
When do you need a rest? I take a nap every day. I learned the hard way that I need that. I learned the hard way that I need to not eat until one o'clock every day. I learned the hard way that I need to stop eating at 6 p.m. I learned the hard way that I need to move my body to the point of sweat five days a week. I learned the hard way, all of these things. And that's what we are here to support you in doing. Okay. So protect your time. The other way to protect your time is to get crystal clear. You guys, this is the number one thing. If you hear nothing else today, get really rock solid clear on the one you get one, the one problem you solve. What is the one problem you solve and who do you solve it for? When you answer the question, what's the one problem I solve and who do I solve it for? You will have realized who your perfect practice member is. And then we're going to take you down a path of studying. What are the words she loves? What are the colors she loves? What, what, what's sitting on her nightstand? Where does she shop? Where does she chat? Where, what does she look at online? What does she ask Siri and Google about? You're going to know everything about this person because you start with the one problem that you're solving for her. And then you want to know how you're going to solve it. Those are all things that we play with with you. Okay. That's the protection of time, energy, and money, big time. Then once you know the problem you solve and how you solve it, you go into appointment types. You go into what are the kinds of appointments that you want to have ready to rock and roll one click solutions for this person who you're crystal clear on the one problem that you solve for her. Do you offer her telehealth classes? Do you offer her exams in person? Do you offer her family a free consult? Are you allowed to offer free consults? These are the things that we probe and pull from you. We bring it forward so that you can truly love your practice. Okay. Okay, now we're going to get into the space. So the final piece of rocking out practice efficiency all from a place of joy is looking at the physical space of your office. When it comes to the physical space of the office, there are a couple of things that we want to remember. You want to honor taste, touch, sound, sight, smell. I talk about this all the time. Some people smell their ways through the world. Some people see their way through the world. Some people eat their way through the world. Everybody moves through the world differently. You want to honor each sense. That's thing one. Thing two is you can create what's called a love note for your practice members where they fill out on a piece of paper. They just check boxes. You can do this electronically too. You can do it through a QR code. These are all things that we show you how to do. How you can have them show you administratively what support they need. You do it with a love note. Everybody's love note looks different. Mine have like butterflies and fairies on them. Yours might not. Okay. Yours might have work boots and shovels on them. Everybody's different. You march to the beat of your own drum. And then finally, we're going to implement the concept of help yourself areas. A help yourself area in your practice is where they pay you, where they request a schedule, where they fill out um, love notes, where they change diapers, where they get a snack, where they get tea. Um, I have a Young Living Oils help yourself area with little tinctures and things that's right over there. I have an, a patient education area here. Help yourself areas all over the office because I no longer have the person sitting at the desk say, saying, hey, come on over here. We'll do X, Y, and Z with you. Okay. Dr. Shona, can you speak? We're running out of time. So can you speak for like a couple of minutes about how maximizing your space in your office has changed your experience in practice, but also how you help our clients do the same? Yeah, sure. So um, I actually had a lot of fun creating these client centers. I didn't think it was going to be so much fun. Um, so I have chocolates at the front desk. Uh, so everybody can help themselves to a chocolate when they're done. It really just mm -hmm. has something special that they look forward to. Um, I have mints in the bathroom uh, so people can help themselves to mints. I also have some tampons in there and things like that um, that people can just help themselves to in private. That's also where I keep my essential oils because some people don't like smells. So I try to keep it fragrance free. But in the bathroom, you can try on some essential oils. Um, and then I, I do really like the communication notes because 
if someone's like, hey, you know, I want blah, blah, blah. I need a note for this. I need a note for that. I used to be the one who would write it down, but it takes time. And my time is better spent doing something else. So now I'm like, hey, can you do me a favor? Can you write that down for me? Put it in my little secure box. And then it becomes my to-do list. Um, I'm not perfect at it yet. I'm getting better, but it's just, it's, it's coming along. It's a work in progress. Um, and then <laughs> I like that you have gin for people. Oh, gin gins. I thought you meant gin. <laughs> um, and then, so how we help people create these is, you know, taking a look at just like the different spaces. And I have a small office. I didn't think I could put anything in my office. Um, but then we just kind of do some brainstorming and what do you want to have available? And I think communication is super important. Um, cards out, maybe a practice alliance. Uh, people can be like, hey, go check out my product area. Um, leave me a note with you, what you took, and so I'll charge you for it. So yeah, the client care centers were fun. I, I really, I really enjoyed them. One of the coolest things that we see happen is people's practices shape-shifting while they go through this part of the 12-week program. And it's actually, you would think that this would come at the end, but this is one of the first things that our students do when they start the 12-week program. And we'll go over the details of that. So people have this idea that um, they have the idea that things like texting and email have to cost a lot of money. You have to be super tech savvy, not true. They also have the idea that there needs to be somebody sitting at the front desk. If you are super busy, if it makes you comfortable, if it protects your time, energy, money to have somebody at the front desk, have them at the front desk, but make sure that they get what you do. Make sure they don't roll your eyes when you talk about how important what you do is. Make sure that they get what you do to the point that they can't wait for their next visit with you. Make sure they're drinking the Kool-Aid. Make sure that you are meeting with them every week. We have a training, it's called Five Freedoms, where we teach you how to have efficient team meetings. And you say something like, Dr. Ken, here's, it's five. You ready? I'm going to go through this really quick and then we're going to end. Five freedoms training sounds something like this. Number one, gratitude. Ken, I'm so grateful that you showed up today and that you're on my team. I just love you, my brother. I really appreciated when you shared with our members of our community about uh, texting and how much it's changed your practice. Is there anything I need to apologize for? No, Jody, you're awesome, right? Nope. So oh, good. <laughs> uh, number four is last week in relation to your job, here are the things that I had on my plate and here's where I'm at with them. And this week in relation to your job, here's what I'm gonna be focused on. That's five freedoms. If you do that meeting every week with every one of your team members or have your manager do that meeting, and this is something that I will jump into a Zoom, I will meet with your entire team with you and I'll train you on five freedoms. Okay. So I want to say to you that you know, I just shared a lot. I dumped a lot on you. And what I want to, I'm going to ask you a question. How many of you watching, and I want to see a show of hands here, feel like having the tools that we just went over could change or a thing or two in your practice for you? Raise your hand. How many people feel like if you were super clear on what to do with the texting and the email and the phone and all of the schedule and knowing who to serve and knowing how to serve them, it would make a difference in your practice. All right, awesome. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move into the part of the training where I'm gonna show you what our program is and how you can hire us. If you have no interest in hiring us, in starting a new program, go enjoy the rest of your day. I love you. If you want to learn what we're doing and what kind of hotcakes we're dishing out, hang tight. Okay. All right. So <laughs> we have a 12 week practice efficiency program. Every week is intentionally released on time. So the first week, we the first couple of weeks, we go into the physical space of the office. And Dr. Shona, if you can drop the type form link in the chat. What this type form is gonna do is it's gonna give you an opportunity to have a meeting with either me or Dr. Shona. We're gonna take a listen to what you've got going on. 
If you want to work with us, there's an interview process because we don't take anybody on as a student. We can also take a small group at any given time. Okay. If you want to work with us, start with filling out the type form that Dr. Shona is about to drop in the chat. And then we'll review it and we'll make sure it's a potential fit. If it's not, I promise I'll send you some free stuff. Okay. So the program, I'm going to go into sharing my screen again. I've got my email up still. Hold on one sec, you guys. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And again, while you're watching this, if you know you want to check out what we're doing, go into the type form and start filling it out. Uh, Dr. Shona, just give me a thumbs up that you can see the monday.com board. Okay, cool. So this is what we call your spa try board. This is where your entire school lives. And there's an admin section to it. There's a to-do list section to it that you actually create with your accountability coach. You'll either be assigned to Dr. Shona or Dr. Ken. Uh, they do an amazing job of making sure that whatever you have due on July 17th, it gets marked done. If it doesn't get marked done, they check your board every week and they'll send you a message and they'll say, hey, buddy, how can we support you? Obviously, you're falling behind and we don't want that for you. OK, so when you meet with Dr. Shona and Dr. Ken, which you can do as much as you need to during the program, um, they're going to build out a to do list for you. So you'll always have a running to do list of what you're supposed to be working on and what you're doing next. And this is personalized for you and what your practice needs. The 12 week program itself, it starts with a practice space kit. We look at the physical space of your office and we maximize it for efficiency. And then we go into looking at your time. We do a time study. We make sure that the way that you're spending your time in the office with visit types is as efficient and joyful as possible. And then we go into the texting kit. The texting kit is actually three weeks long because there are a lot of pieces to it. But literally, you guys, we have thought of everything. We give you the templates. We teach you how to get the account. We show you how to get the account as cheap as possible. We show you how to make sure it's compliant. We show you how to start using it. We show you how to introduce it. We show you how to pick a number. All of these things happen during the three weeks in the texting kit. Then we go into what to do with the phone. That's actually only a week long because it's pretty quick to move through. Then we go into email and then we go into a couple of bonuses that we're offering right now. At any given time, because some of you move really fast, some of you take a bit longer to get through stuff. At any given time, you have about 30 hours of content on um, self-growth growth tools, overwhelm tools, organization tools. These are all called the toolkit. And when we meet, we're going to meet, if you, if you fill out that type farming, you seem a fit for what we offer. When we meet, I'm going to give you one bonus program to work on during the 12 weeks. So you'll not only have the toolkit here, you'll also have your bonus kit here. And you guys, we've got courses on online course creation. We've got courses on building your practice. We've got courses on time, energy, money, organization, you name it, we've got content on it. Okay, so that's spa try. And it's gonna look something like this, you guys. Let's say we're getting into client area center. You click on the access here button. It opens up that class for client, client area creation. You watch the videos. You, I even give you a tour of my office here. And then um, most of our classes have a PDF for you to download. You click the PDF. I show you what to do with it in a video. And you can either submit this to your coach to review with you, or you just keep it for safekeeping in the future because you got the point of the lesson. That's spa try. Spa is Staffless Practice Academy. Try as a trimester at 12 weeks long. Dr. Jody, um, can, let I, me can I add yeah. one little thing sure. to that? Yeah, I sure. want to say that I love our material in this program because there's so many programs that offer so much and we have, you have no idea how much material there is behind the spa try program for graduate students and some of the one-on-one -on -one coaching that we do with people. But we've created this to have a digestible, coherent, simple, but maximally efficient things for the foundations, the pillars of creating more efficient practice that protect your time, energy, and resources. And we find by keeping it as simple as possible, it gets people who ha don't have the bandwidth for doing more because they're already in overwhelm, the breadth and the space and the time to begin making those other changes when they want to start growing their practice or doing more marketing outside and all of that 
But by keeping it simple and keeping the accountability every week, people are actually able to follow through with these changes that you guys all, most of you raised your hands for. So you begin to see tangible results quickly instead of just having another book with a bunch of concepts and a large program that you do a little bit about, but then get burnt out because you joined it because you're already burnt out. It's simple, but it's effective. So I'm really happy with our, where the program is and excited. I love helping people through it and make big changes really quickly. So that's my, my, so, my two cents right so there, good the structure. People love meeting with Dr. Ken and Dr. Shona, and they bring such polar opposite energy. I'm sure you guys can feel that. You know, some people reach out to me and they're like, I want to create an online course. And I'm like, you can't create an online course until your phone answers itself. You've got a texting program with one click solutions and everything's compliant. You start with Spot Try. You start in our world with Spot Try and then we can grow from there. Some people come to our door and they're like, I already have a texting program and an email program. We have other solutions for you. Usually Spot Try is the place to start. Okay, I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to open it up to questions. I love you guys. I love that you spent the time with us. The next step is to fill out the type form that you're either seeing in the recording of this video, and then we'll, we'll go over the type form. We'll make sure that you are a match for what we're offering, and we'll take it from there.